okay, in, in cloud environment we have some terminologies SAAS, PAAS, IAAS okay, and now EAAS okay, this, is, this is not exactly the one but this is also coming so these are all cloud terminologies Okay, just cloud terms. Terms is not the word I can use. Okay, cloud. Okay, so just tell me what they are. Anyone have any idea what they are? Yes, Andy. Tell me, Andy. SAS is ser software as a service. Okay. PAS, PAS is a product as a service. Uh -huh. And then I, I both, I don't, I don't know the other, other two. Platform as a service, interface as a service, and uh, an infrastructure. Infrastructure as a service. Okay, last one um, is. I don't know, sir. Okay. So now. Uh, this is also one of the important question we will cover it okay so first when we are seeing these things what they are ma? what like software as a service product okay uh, it's not product now it's process process okay process service. Software platform, is sir. Is platform. It platform 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 it's a bigger yeah. thing yeah ma. who is that thanks thanks actually it's a platform okay so not a product is also application software okay platform is a bigger thing so now uh, these are the terminologies okay so just to tell me uh, what they are referring software is a service uh, that means maybe service now we can say service now is software is a service mm -hmm. and uh, turbo tax like uh, we just like a software every year we yeah uh, i have a it's not i have a like vague idea only See? okay fine so service now is the software as a service you are telling okay why it is software as a service it's as a SAS. As a. okay so i i this <coughs> i'm repeating okay these are the cloud terminologies okay so we have four types of clouds SAS, PAS, IAS, and EAS. This, this is generic one. Okay, software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, everything as a service. Now, read one and then apply what exactly it is referring. Maybe the hint is, okay, the definition of cloud. If you un, if you know or if you understand the definition of cloud, okay everything you will get it easily just try now what is the definition of cloud i don't know anything about cloud just to tell me what is cloud try ma in a normal way just tell in normal way not in technical way i don't want in technical way but normal way cloud is a server itself software as a service cloud is a server okay cloud is a server then it serves SaaS software as a service um, okay let, let's say okay uh, i brought one server today and also license so that server will be called as a cloud huh? oh no right, so the answer is not right now okay good try others yeah, pl please keep on trying. We, we are just discussing. That's it. Yeah. So what is cloud? Introduction class, second example, second definition. It is, it is used for storing the data and users can access it through applications. Hmm. It is, uh, okay, that, that, is, that, that is the definition of uh, server. Okay. 
you said uh, it is used to store the data where applications can uh, access the data right users or applications can access data okay let's say I, same thing i brought one server i kept it i am holding the server then i connected all the application to the server database my people will use it is that cloud no so partially wrong answer here we can store the data uh, here i can say something Smart. maybe our our data is that means one company's data is uh, saves in a different company server mm -hmm. that, Okay. Like uh, AWS, uh, so Google Gmail. Hmm. Google yeah. Gmail, yes. You are getting yeah. you are you are getting the lights. Okay, from our first class, something we are remembering <laughs> from our introduction class. Yes. Um, yeah, Microsoft actually the. Um, yes, all the cloud service providers yeah. will come to our yeah. client and then ask like, I will keep your data so that you pay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Right. So you are all you are all till this point able to collect a okay so when you want when we want to speak about cloud the definition word, the first word term we need to get it in our mind is hosting okay hosting the data or database okay so if you see this particular sentence if you host your data that is physical setup if someone host your data and charge that is cloud setup simple you know, we don't need to discuss anything if we tell this sentence everyone will understand so hosting hosting means yeah as someone told i take your data i host your data and you can access the data right so the terminology host is important here when we are talking about cloud hosting something is cloud agree now is that correct ma everyone agree yes i agree hmm. now keeping this particular sentence in mind just to tell what this for are now easy ma just to see someone told service now is a software saas okay uh, why because uh, applications maybe we are seeing applications here so it is on cloud we are accessing applications using a url so that's why i said saas right now this is your answer nama yes sandy yeah hmm. so yes the answer is right see when we are seeing when we are accessing or if someone are hosting the applications or a softwares and people are using it via interfaces what is being shared is very important here in this example software is being shared being hosted okay if you see service now maybe it will confuse you but best example for saas is o365 the o365 is the cloud version of office where you no need to install in your computer if you want to install the microsoft office it will take 1 gb of data also the license and maintenance every week every month you need to upgrade your application keep on okay you need to up, you need to Uh, manage the application also license everything okay but if you use this one you you, you don't spend first 1 gb 1.5 gb of your space and you no need to keep on upgrade it you just buy it maybe same license cost or little more so here what they are hosting they are hosting the softwares so this is saas is that clear ma If you see so many, our Gmail is also SaaS. Okay, so if you start seeing okay, cloud-based applications, if you you will get so many. All these are examples for SaaS. Okay, all these maybe whatever the application name you get it. Okay, all the examples are applications. So maybe these are all cloud. Uh, these are all cloud cloud-based apps. You are just using them using an application. maybe or a link and it is connecting to the backend database okay so simple first right is is that correct is that uh, fine yeah i think we have so many applications here these are all saas okay maybe 
the best simple example is o365 o365 is software as a service they we are we are using an application or they are hosting an application and the application is being shared via cloud okay so now tell me service now is a saas is service now saas yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. so the answer is right <coughs> but i can say partially okay so now second one is platform as a service what is platform okay collection of applications it's a bigger thing okay service now is a itsm tool it's a platform okay you can maintain you can run sima if you see service now okay let's say two clients are there okay one client they are using only incident management they don't they don't have anything else okay they have only incident management for that they brought service now and they also brought only incident management for them it is saas okay but i brought service now my client is my scope is bigger i am using all the applications which supports my platform so this is pass saas plus pass so platform as a service they are hosting the entire platform is that clear ma yes sir so what is service now what type of cloud service now is it's a saas and pass more than saas it is a pass okay saas if you are saying as a saas in the first discussion we given like service now is a ticketing tool service now is itsm tool okay so if when you say saas you are limiting the service now only as a ticketing tool when you are saying pass you are saying it is a more than that it is a platform right a ticket only like one application or two applications you are using right nama is that clear yes clear and huh. what is iias so infrastructure as a service so infrastructure means what okay maybe if if any any one of uh, your contacts okay if they are working on microsoft related technologies maybe a o365 okay or microsoft cloud or any applications microsoft related applications okay as engineers okay just check them sql also sql database people or anyone okay database related or till or something we have a concept called virtual pcs virtual labs yeah, you know this one you heard this one by any chance no right okay so now i want to learn azure okay so how i can learn i need to set up azure in my uh local computer to okay to set up azure azure it's itself is a server back end a big server it needs so much of data and i can't handle it because my computer is very limited and the prereq of azure i can't meet it so i, I don't i can't set up a lab for azure to practice okay so what i can do is i can use microsoft virtual labs okay microsoft virtual labs means they provides this computer okay and they set up the azure with their uh, license or something okay daily we can use for maybe 1 hour 2 hours it's free sometimes it's free sometimes it's cost also based on the type of application you want to do so these are all you have options here so let's say azure okay so when i access this azure or something okay so what it loads is it uh, it it, uh, it will be having the same kind of shortcut like this okay azure lab okay, lab pc once i click this one then it opens a computer like this here in my computer only it will open a computer like a virtual computer where i can own, i can see all the options like a computer it's actually a server not a computer azure okay but you you got the entire setup already being already installed and you can directly practice it maybe if we see the exa- uh, images now let's see the images we will see okay maybe this is one image and this is you know, okay so this is this is good uh yeah so if we open and see this one okay tenet virtual apps from microsoft are free okay maybe you can just go through it 
okay and if you see how the uh, minimum requirement your computer should have this much okay maybe xpr win 7 and you just click like this and then it connects like this launch virtual lab okay and it runs on flash so flash is required it will automatically load okay once you launch that virtual lab the lab computer will launch like this same like how you are using this page ma okay, how you are using this page it opens that lab pc in a virtual uh, frame something like this and now you can start using it you can go here launch azure console and then do your job practice things concepts everything once that is done maybe they will allow only for some time for a day something and then you can close it next day you can come okay so here what is being shared the what is a lab some infrastructure they are hosting some infrastructure which is built and they are sharing it you are accessing this infrastructure via cloud so this example is IAAS clear ma you agree yes sir. everyone please confirm yeah clear and <laughs> okay now this one even I don't know so they want to make a cloud everywhere so anything is just anything is on cloud okay this is what our next it is trending to there is no physical for that few companies are already started like you give everything we host it okay i don't know but things are trending towards this one if you take hr services we host it if you take it services we host if you take perform platform services we host we host everything okay we give everything as a service <laughs> so if you see something like this okay so maybe this image they host all these things and they call it as we host everything maybe if we see okay let's say service now also iias then we can call service now as everything as a service <laughs> okay as it is not iias maybe we can't call service now as I everything as a service but let's say a few companies like they are started like okay maybe azure force okay sales force and uh, amazon web services and they are coming now like we will host everything that is their business they are improving their business okay so this is also a general terminology it's not specific to something but we are we also have it maybe if some mad guy asked like okay you've given a nice example nice definition okay someone asked why i'm telling this one maybe if you get a question maybe you answer this one and they will ask this question you answered they also ask this question you answered okay and then that guy will ask what is everything as a service <laughs> okay maybe we, it is not actually the term existing term but people will be there who wants to test okay so just keep that also in mind but this is also a one of the important question okay and okay just to go through it maybe when you have some time but okay when we are seeing service now service now which database service now uses to store the data okay so it is mysql it uses mysql database to, to host the data earlier it is mysql nowadays i think mysql is uh, uh, it earlier it is it was i think uh, freeware now i think uh, they are trending to some to cuber cuber or something there is a new thing came up they are migrating to cuber what is new db uh, mysql kakana freeware new db what is that cuber 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 system uh. okay one second is ah uh, maria db okay maria db is the new freeware where they are planning to migrate from mysql to maria db okay so this is maybe just to out of curiosity but you, s you can tell like service now uses mysql as a traditional sir uh, a traditional database one and they are planning to move to mariadb also because mariadb is a free and this one maybe they are seeing some challenges okay this is also one of the important interview question what database service now uses to host your data okay ma is that clear Yes, sir.